uh, uh, check your emails. I'll see what's going on. I said, I'm not checking not near them email. Call right now and see where his ass is. I'm there with you if I'm watching you. So. 1942 and it was 118 degrees. This exceeded what it even was in 1942. Hard to get. Tease me, boy. I'm a Mr. Bray. Hey, good morning, Rose fam. Hope everybody is good. It is Thursday. Hey, honey. July 11th. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Yeah? You want rubs? Oh, my goodness. You want rubs. Anyway, you guys, I'm up in the queen room and about to feed Kobe. I'm making Ty some pasta. It's uh, quarter to eight. Um, uh just showered i had some things for bulk that i wanted to add to the trash they pick up you know bulk every two weeks out here so um anyway i have some packages coming that i want to share with you guys i'm still haven't got my table yet so i'm waiting for that before i show you guys both of them together um as i shared in the no, it might not have been the last video. Because honestly, guys, I think I have one or two more videos before you'll actually see this. Um, I'm trying to at least film and then edit as I can so that I can be a little bit more consistent with vlogging. Anyway, welcome to all our new Rose fam. What is that? Y'all, they extended the heat watch. You guys, it was a hundred and... 16 17 where we are and we're up on the mountain so it's like two to three degrees cooler maybe a little more sometimes then if you just go three minutes down the road and y'all hubby came home yesterday i had finished everything i was just finishing up the last bit of folding laundry and he wanted to go for an ice cream run so we treat ourselves to baskin and robin um, and we all get something, even down to Kobe, he gets a pup cup. So, um, that's our little treat. Maybe every two weeks or three weeks, that's what we do. Anyway, um, I say that to say, y'all, we got in a car and drove down the street three minutes. And it was 121. And y'all, it is just so hot. It is so hot. It's so ridiculous. And yes, I'm going to complain because it should not be 121 degrees ridiculous anyway i got some stuff coming i need to go check on tyler's pasta but um let me show you real quick out just a rug coming for this area it is a washable rug um eventually we are most likely going to make this lvp um uh down in the future but i think i showed you guys the curtains and oh my gosh Finally, you guys, finally, they are what I want. They're hung properly. This space is where this was all the way out is now pushed in on both sides. And I am in love. Now, you guys, <laughs> I'm thinking, so these two windows are open. And I do love that open. But I'm thinking I might do... Roman shades, this exact color, the ones that just fold like that, but always keep them up on these two windows so that I can have that. It's a cocoa. It's actually called pine cone, but it's like a, a cocoa color um, on those two windows to bring that area some color and life as well. Not sure, but that's what I'm thinking I want to do. These, This is that color in the Roman um, on this side and of course the bottom will be the and they'll never like be opened or shut and I want them high up because I still want the view um, so uh, I may or may not because y'all I love that view and I like <laughs> it being high so we'll revisit that I don't know but I do want to do something to that area to warm it up from up here so I ordered the rug for here um also i ordered a another 
desk or a chair for Ty to go with this desk um, that I can't wait to show you guys. And I might, I might try and order the cabinets for this. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pondering. If I can get a good deal or sale on it, I'll go ahead and order the cabinets just so that area is complete and I have some more storage for like his books and supplies and stuff like that. Um, right now we have some cubbies like underneath or, you know, a, a little drawer right here. And we have some stuff that is stored under here that could go in a cabinet over there. So anyway, that's my thought process. Um, also... I have a blanket coming for our bedroom. Um, I'm not sure which one. I actually have two. I have one coming for the couch and one coming for our bedroom. So I want to play with both of them and see which one ends up being the one that I use in our bedroom. Um, so I have this box here that I'm going to open with you guys. But let me show you ottoman you guys omg this is so gorgeous it is absolutely beautiful oh my goodness look at that you guys it is so gorgeous and here's the bed so let me give you an outside view look at that oh for now i just have this because it's what i have but the blanket is coming today but isn't that beautiful guys i love that so so much i am gonna get a rug i have my eyes on one but for right now i'm enjoying the simplicity of not having a rug under there it just feels like it's a, quite a bit larger because the rug will close up the space around the bed which is fine it gives it the cozy look and i will be getting one but for right now I just love the look. So if you notice the theme of our second floor is gray, green, or gray, the green, the beige, the tans. That's what carries into our living room. Same thing. And then our bathroom. Oh, and browns. So even to the pantry, <laughs> even to the pantry, guys. It's the same theme. I'm trying, if you notice, for you guys not to see the table. But let me show you the colors in here. Has the rest of the house. So if you're new and haven't seen the pantry, this is our pantry here. Let me go on this side so you can see. This is our pantry. Um, I kind of designed and put this together two or three years ago. I can't remember. It is time for me to redo the wallpaper. That is wallpaper on it. So I want to get some fresh one and do it again. So anyway, um, I do have to... Oh, what time is it? It's almost time to feed Kobe, but let me check on this pasta for time. I think everybody woke up pretty hungry. I woke up hungry. Ty woke up hungry. It's almost ready. Um, while we're waiting, let me open this box from Amazon. So you guys can see what's in here. Now, hold on. All right. So I did order the same pillowcase. Hold on. Let me see. All right, so I did order this exact same pillowcase in a different color for fall. And um, I don't know if you've seen the chocolate ones that I got. Um, so let me pan out so you can see that on the couch. Uh, what that looks like with the curtains. Looks so good, guys. Looks so good. And so I have this blanket here, which is totally fine, but I find myself, find myself reaching for a bigger blanket when I'm watching TV and because I don't have blanket storage out here, <clears throat> um, I keep it in the closet in the bedroom. So I just kind of want something that's already on the couch 
Hold on, you guys. Let me get this pasta done. Your place ready, pumpkin? Huh? He's not joking. fam I am on hold trying to see where one of my orders is but anyway let me grab this package um I got Colby fed Tyler fed those dishes washed up I was talking to baby boy and I also got coffee set for tomorrow um, if you are new to the channel, I like to pre-make our coffee on a timer so you get woken up to fresh brewed coffee. Um, anyway, let's open this package. This is just one from Amazon. Oh, speaking of which, where is my other one? Like, what's going on with the packages? Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm supposed to have another package that's supposed to be here at 8 still not here like I don't know what's going on with these delays and all these packages that <sighs> he's typing to me right now so that's what I'm looking at y'all anyway I did get like I said those pillowcases that are the exact same but I got like a hold on I'm good baby thank you all right so not really <laughs> nothing exciting um so here they are here it's like a burnt orange color what so it's the same exact one that's on the couch um these are such good quality i'll link the brand below if you guys want to get some um i love the little heart detail on the clasp but the quality is so so nice so I got a burnt orange I already have some smaller throws to use for the couch but once again this couch is a lot bigger so I may end up ordering one to use mm. yeah I might end up ordering one to use if not okay thank you for that clarification so there's one thing 
you know what guys I think let me let me finish with him that way I can give you guys my full attention so I'll be back all right fam so sorry about that I just like rubbing my money back I, I can't nothing is being delivered I don't know what's going on with delivery these days maybe it's because there's all these sales <clears throat> people are having UPS is going crazy anyway so I was showing you guys these excellent quality let me look let me know if you want me to link these below. It does have a little bit of a pattern on it. It's so pretty. I love it. And when I buy different colors, it will be this brand. Like, I don't need feel the need to, like, go all over the place. If I find a good brand and a good product, I will stick to it. I love these, and I love the boucle. So, there's that. And I also got this blanket. Let me grab this knife. I also got this blanket Now I got it for this couch and it is an olive green so I got it to kind of tie the green into the area because right now I have green here green there but the whole couch is pretty much brown and beige so I want to get a little bit of green in there so I may use it there or I may put it on the bed because I also have a tote one coming hopefully it was supposed to be here at 8 o'clock with Amazon it ain't here between 4 and 8 it's also not here so Target's slipping Amazon is slipping so I just place it cancel it for delivery and I'll just go pick it up later I got two things they put it in three separate bags I guess they're coming from three different places two of them say they're coming so we'll see how that works as well but here it is it's this Chanel throw so make for really comfy laying down because y'all when I tell you I get on that couch put that ceiling fan on the ceiling fan and these curtains were the best investment it wasn't a, well no the couch too but as far as things that we can't do ourselves oh you guys story time let me go sit down so I can give you the yeah let me give you the story time and then we'll do the blanket because y'all I don't even know what's going on so let me sit down so oh. so anyway y'all know the situation with the curtains how we had paid for the guy to come out I showed a little bit of clip and like I said through that process I was really trying to not be frustrated I don't want anybody to be and feel uncomfortable in our home I didn't want to you know be nasty and rude so I'm like okay everything's gonna be okay smile he's here let's get through it let's make the best of it anyway it was jacked up I showed you guys I was very unhappy a lot of you guys already said since we know we understand yeah go ahead and do it over it looks good but do it the way you want to do it you've paid you know the money for it um, and you want it done right so I appreciate you guys understanding that and riding with me um, and also saying that it looked good either way so I appreciate that so anyway I contacted the company because like I said when I don't know if I got into detail but when he came this company charges um, $90 an hour plus a seven six or seven dollar processing fee so call it 96 97 dollars an hour um this company adver hold on you guys okay i have bulk trash i don't know if they were coming yet so um this company a lot of companies have a two hour minimum but they have to specify so this this person they're independent contractors um, actually this company they're independent but it goes through the company so the company charges a minimum of one hour and then they charge in half hour increments so when the guy got here first of all they told me 12 so um, I had taken upon myself to get up a little bit earlier take the other curtains down spackle and do all of that because I had other things that I wanted to do and I wanted to make sure not to hold up his time excuse you big boy not to hold up his time so just as I had literally spackled the last hole, the doorbell ring, it was 11 o'clock. And I'm like, who is that? So I go downstairs and I open the door. I said, yes. He says, hi, I'm here to put your 
curtains up. I said, you're not supposed to be here for another hour. He's like, I know they told me um, that I had this job. And I was like, did they not tell you 12 o'clock? I said, anyway, it's fine. I already took care of what I need to take care of. Go ahead and come in. So he comes in. I was like, where's your ladder? He's like, oh, I just got to get it out the car. Y'all, he drove up in a Honda Civic. I was like, I sent pictures. I specified the ceiling height, specified the type of ladder and, and the height of the ladder and type that he needed. Really went into detail. Like if it's going to be a regular stand-up ladder, it needs to be this tall. If it's going to be the one that you hang, you know, lay against the wall, it needs to be this tall. My curtains are this length. Like I took a picture on the picture. I specified everything else as well in, in the um, box for the company anyway he goes to his car and he pulls out this ladder now I'm like okay but ladders be doing some things they surprise you they there's a ladder and a ladder and a ladder and a ladder that goes all the way up even the last guy that was here his was super high but it didn't look it so he comes out with this ladder and comes upstairs and he's looking at this ladder like he'd never seen it before I said what's going on I was like is this not is this your ladder or the company's ladder no it's mine I was like okay so he's acting like he doesn't know how to put it together and I said to him I said you know I'm being charged by the hour right oh yes 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 I know I know he says well these companies charge a minimum of two hours anyway I said no not yours it's a minimum of one hour and then half hour increments by him saying that that let me know in my mind and head he was already set to be here for two hours because that's more coins for him so whatever he had to do he was going to make sure he was here and got the most money so he looks at this ladder hold tight guys Okay, so with that being said, he opened, finally figures out this ladder after like 10 minutes of looking at it. And I'm like, he's got to be kidding me right now. So he um, opens up this ladder and it's at its fullest height. And you guys, I kid you not, it went maybe two feet above the bottom window. And I looked at him and I was like, what you about to do with that? And he starts looking up. Oh, this is so high. I said, did you not get the picture, the height, and everything that I gave the company? He says, well, they only told me um, that I needed um, a 14 foot ladder. And I figured as long as it opened out to 14 feet. I said, well, first of all, that don't even open out to 14 feet. And secondly, if you read the description, it's a standing ladder. If you have a standing 14 foot ladder, because uh, it would still reach where we need it. Because um, that's what they used to put our ceiling fan on. Uh, so I know it's and he's over six feet so they used that and they were short they used a 14 foot standing ladder like this and they put the ceiling fan up so i know damn well this is shorter than this not even all the way up to the ceiling or one that opened out i said that doesn't even open out to 14 i said you know what let me go get our ladder our ladder is much higher than yours so i went downstairs that's time remember this is time tick 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 so i went and got our ladder and put it up for him so he's then he starts complaining oh my goodness these ladders are so scary and like oh i just oh i'm always afraid i'm gonna fall and i was like have you done this hold on you guys all right y'all sorry i'm about to go to the store with my um sister v so i was just communicating with her what time are you gonna leave and make a couple um a couple runs anyway um so i he starts complaining oh what if I fall and I'm like have you done this before he's like yeah 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 all the time I was like nah something tells me you haven't done this before so anyway long story short I say okay well this is what I'll do I will put another ladder underneath you so you don't have that give in the middle and I have to, I'll put the sofas behind you he, oh are they heavy I'm like yes they're heavy so anyway we end up doing that and of course he's taking his time so he gets all the way up there and um complaining all the way dropping everything he's like oh you know he, uh, all this stuff in my hand i was like 
So I went, I was like, why don't you put all of this stuff in a, a bag? So I gave him a um, supermarket bag. I said, put everything you need in this bag and then take it up there with you. So you, you're not going up and down. You're not drawing. You saw he dropped the tape measure and I, he had the bag. I was like, okay. So anyway, he gets up there and he's like, okay. He asked me where I wanted. I told him where I wanted it. So he proceeds to drill. Oh, this drill is not powerful enough. I I probably need to go get my uh, other drill. So I'm looking at him. Okay, remind you again. Uh, um, remind you again. I'm on. He's on this clock. Ah, oh, he comes down. He got this mammy made ass little drill. I said, did you? I said, did you not know that you were going to be drilling into studs to hang a, a curtain? Because that was on the description that you were hanging a curtain. So common sense would dictate you, you're going to be looking for a stud. If worst case scenario, you have the, the little, um, what is it? The plastic things that you put in there. But nine times out of ten, you're going to be looking for a stud. I say, you didn't know that? Oh, let me go to my car. So he gets down, walking like this. And he goes to his car and comes back with a, a proper drill. I was like, well, why didn't you bring that in in the first place? This is all off camera. <laughs> anyway, I was like, okay, it's okay, girl. You're getting your curtains up. Feel the joy. Feel the joy. I've been waiting for a long time to do this and finally doing it. Literally, I've wanted these curtains this high since we bought this house. But like I said, I was going through a season of changing out curtains and everything is so difficult. They act like we're the only house in Vegas with these massive ceilings. Um, so it's hard to get people to do anything. So I just went the route that I went and you see why. It was an act of Congress to get the ceiling fan. They quoted us $1,100 for a $400 $50 ceiling fan. Anyway, he gets up there. He's doing, oh, does this look even? Does this look straight? And I'm like, yeah, he goes to the next one. Same situation. All three times he had to get up. He's whining. He's scared. I'm putting all this stuff there. I'm working my ass off, you guys. And so he gets to the second one, the middle one. First of all, it's supposed to be two middle rods. I was like, one is fine. Just one is fine in the middle. Doesn't need four. He gets up there and he's like, oh, does this look even with the other one? And I said, where is your tape measure? Shouldn't you be measuring the distance from the ceiling or the distance from the top of the window to where you are to know whether or not you're in the right spot? I said, you should be using your tape measure for that. Anyway, I ended up guiding him with that. Then he pulled, it, it was just a nightmare. So anyway, I had to, long story short, re, uh, get it redone. So I called the company again. Of course, it's at my dime because they're independent contractors. They're not, they can't send anybody out and say, oh, you got to fix somebody else that you don't know is work. So I'm having to pay another $90. Oh, the, oh I'll give you $10 off because it's a redo. So instead of 96, I'm paying 86 plus tax. Plus tax. Okay. Thank you. So I put the request in. They were supposed to be here Thursday. Thursday came. They're supposed to be here Thursday at 9. Came and went. Wait, no. They're supposed to be here Thursday. Yeah, at 9. Came and went. Heard nothing, nothing. Calling, calling, calling. Oh, we can't find anybody. I was like, you literally booked an appointment for Thursday. Oh, is it okay if you wait till Saturday because we can't find anybody to come out? And I'm like, okay, mind you, I wanted to contact so many other companies to ask them if they could do it. But this company advertises, and by the way, the company's name is Hello Tech. Do not use them. So, um, um, oh, they advertise we never charge until the job is done. they charge and, and when i talked to her about it i said and secondly why are you charging me if the job is not done when it specifically states on your website that you don't charge until the job is done i said ma'am i see it here pending yeah but we didn't truly charge i said ma'am pending is a charge 
It can go one way or the other, but you're holding the money that I can't use that belongs to me. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a charge. Okay. Whether you uh, drop it or you uh, continue with the processing portion of it. You've taken my money that I can no longer use to go somewhere else. That's considered a charge to me. So anyway, some, uh, I said, it's fine. They had a tech, his name and everything. He can be here Saturday morning at nine. Y'all nine 15. I'm sitting there like this. So I decide to call. I said, Hey, I was supposed to have a tech here. This is the second time now um, on this redo that I'm supposed to have a tech here. Oh, let me check. And I'll uh, check your emails. I'll see what's going on. I said, I'm not checking. Not near damn email. Call right now and see where his ass is. I said, because at this point, I'm pissed. And y'all are holding my money. And now I'm really pissed off. So he's like, oh, well, I can. I got to send a request in to see what a tech is. Look out for an email. Two hours past, no email. So I called them back. I said, I'm not waiting a minute longer. Call him. Find out where his ass is. Because at this point, he's two hours late. A little more than two hours late. Oh, the text they getting. I call them back. Oh, yeah, we're looking in the notes and the text said that he's running late. I said, running late? Where is my phone call? What time is he coming? I'm not going to sit here and Mickey Mouse with you guys all damn day again on a redo that you guys should have had somebody do properly in the first place. Oh, uh, let me, let me, um, have the tech call you with a time. Y'all, I hung up in 30 minutes. I got an email that says nobody, the tech can no longer come. He's on the job, yada, yada. Reschedule in the next, another couple days. Y'all, I was pissed. I lit they ass up and disputed them. And I said, y'all better get that damn charge off my account. So I called another company. The guy said, yes, I can come. I looked online with Thumbtack. So he was, I guess, the cheapest. And I thought, oh, that's fine. Uh, he was six. It says $60 an hour, no minimum. The next one was $89 an hour with a two hour minimum. I was like, there's no way it's going to take that long to get up there. Give me the curtain. Let me rehang the hooks properly. And you put it back up and push the sides in. Literally, it would take all of maybe 15 minutes. And that's taking our time. 20 minutes tops to for the climb up, taking them off, bringing them down, and this, that, and the other. I put the hooks on again. I mean, I took them down. I put the hooks on so he didn't have to like the last one I put them on and and all you got to do is take your finger unscrew the little things that stop the curtain from moving left to right unscrew them push it in screw them back how long does that take so the guy comes on time he came at 11 perfect comes in with the ladder perfect it was a husband and wife team only problem is they didn't speak English they spoke very little English I'm like okay so she used her phone as a translator Loved them from onset. Older couple. The wife was there. Like she was very like meticulous. She put, you know, oh, do you have a towel? Let me put it down. I don't want to mess up your stuff. Beautiful house, beautiful decor. Looking around. Well, y'all know what? I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be away. But if you know, you know. If people come into your space and they see certain things, they start thinking of how much they're gonna charge you. I don't care. That has been the instance and everything that I have me and my husband have been through when they start looking around oh this is nice this is nice and this that and the other all of a sudden they adding up how much they're going to charge you anyway because he told me with the english barrier he's thinking he had to hang the whole curtain up um and you know everything and we were trying to text back and forth but of course that wasn't working so he said it's probably about 1 30 and I was like, I know it's not going to be that. Because if you charge $60 an hour, you're not even going to be here uh, for an hour. So I was like, okay, let him come. It's $60 quoted on his thing. $60 an hour. 
um i said okay so he probably thinks he has all of this to do hanging the the rods and everything and this that and other so he's thinking it's gonna be because at 60 dollars um 130 that's two hours plus you gave yourself a 10 dollar tip because 60 and 60 is 120 where you get 130 you gave yourself a 10 dollar tip because you saw how high the ceilings were fine he gets here and he's asking again what needs to be done that's why i knew he didn't understand what i was saying in the beginning he's like what needs to be done and i said hey the hardware is already there i don't need you to take anything down there's no drilling all you got to do is unscrew the ends push it in closer to where the bracket is bring the curtain down i will put the hooks on the curtain i'm gonna hand it to you you put it back on the pole done had to say that like five times for him to understand even the pushing the pole back in it was constant like talking back and forth on this uh, translator fine like i said the wife was there she was nice she was helpful um i was helping to hold the curtain everything was smooth now y'all when i tell you he came here at 11 brought his ladder up the conversations of trying to um explain to him of what we needed done with all of those things going on moving we had already moved the furniture but we had to move one part of it to get out of the way because of his ladder went a little further back but with all of those activities you guys we finished in 37 minutes 37 minutes that's not an hour 37 minutes but even if he had charged for the hour i would have been fine with that you charge by the hour so it took 37 minutes whatever it's 60 dollars an hour why would i ask okay you know how much i need to give you thinking it's 60 i was going to give him a little tip too because i was so pleased to have these curtains up homeboy talking about some 130 i said 130 you charge you know i was like 130 i'm like he charged 60 dollars an hour so you charging me for two hours plus a 10 dollar tip yeah i was so pissed but you know what when i say i'm over these people being in my house and this is why i learned to do things by myself because i'm tired of being taken advantage of i'm tired of getting ripped off i'm tired of being on other people's time i'm simply tired so the things that we can do by ourselves i will damn sure continue to do body broken down and all i take medication do what i gotta do and just be laid up in this bed because i am so sick of being taken advantage of so anyway i gave it to them and they told me some review i was like i, I don't want to do a review because i do not leave like leaving bad reviews on people so but they kept pushing they sent me it five times please leave a review please leave a review and my husband knew i was so pissed off i was in such a bad mood i was probably fussing at my husband and i'm like i'm sorry babe i'm just i'm just so full i'm so full just dealing with the curtains went through the same thing with the ceiling fan went through like anything we have to the water heater ceiling fan water heater curtains anything the floors when they had to come out and pick them up they still didn't do those right anything that we have had to contract outward which is just that because everything else we do ourselves has been a nightmare like literally everything has had a problem everything has had a problem so anyway that's what i dealt with with the curtains but i'm so happy they're up it's done i gave him the 130 but you know what after the fifth uh request for review i was still very nice i said i absolutely love the husband and wife couple um they were very uh, mannerful very neat um they made sure their job the job was done properly i said i however will not be using them again because they charge 60 dollars an hour and they charge me for two hours and a tip um i said for that reason i won't be using them again and that's it so he wrote me back and he was like oh um i'm so sorry you feel that way i quoted 130 i was like you quoted 130 because you thought you had to put the whole thing up because once again when he got here i had to explain to him that that's not what he had to do he thought he had to rehang you know everything but anyway i left it at that i didn't even respond to the uh, reply from him i left it at that so i'm over it they're up done but 
I tell my husband, baby, I know he is so concerned and he just hates to see me do stuff because honestly, I'm not in the physical condition that I could or should be doing it. I do pay for it and it probably does cause further damage to what I got going on. But y'all, I just can't. I can't with outside people doing stuff. I just can't. So anyway, my curtains are up. I'm so happy that they're there. So I think that's the garbage people. I'm not leaving for another couple hours. Um, she's got some errands to run and then I've got mine I'm going to run so that I can be back home when hubby gets home. Um, so yeah, let me go get this uh, blanket and open it. Hold on y'all. Let's go check and see if that was the garbage or was it bulk no that was garbage bulk still hasn't come all right let's go um and see what this blanket is looking like after i talked y'all ear off <laughs> y'all like the story times i don't be liking all the story times to have drama but what's the story time without a little drama anyway let's uh open up this blanket blanket Oh, she's pretty. I like her. Oh, yes, y'all. This right here, I got the oversized 60 by 80. And y'all, this is going to make for some good, good sleeping. So, once again, I got to... Oh, I can't. I got to make sure I'm not turning so you guys don't see the living room. So, I have on the bed, I can put it here. And put or put the taupe uh, one that's coming like this. I kind of want the taupe. It's more like that color, I think. Like this is. I kind of like the contrast of that. Or we could. I don't know why I turned that light on. Like y'all can see better with that one. Let me see. Um. Or we can use this one on the bed. and continue with the tote one in the living room. So, let's see. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see what it is. So that's what that looks like on the bed. Um, I kind of want the beige one because I don't want green, beige, green, beige. I kind of want green, the suede on the bed and then green. But it doesn't look bad. It looks really pretty. But let's see what it looks like on the couch. All right. So, got to look at it here. See this one leaves all these little lint balls and stuff. Okay, I definitely like it here because it gives a little bit of green going on. I can't go too much to the right, you guys, but it gives a little bit of green. You know, I'll fix it better, but I absolutely love it here because it gives a little green element to the couch. So I think I'll keep it in here, but I'm also going to see what, because I like this here and I like it in the bedroom. I just didn't want green on green on green and here needed a little bit of green in, um, in this room or on the couch. It has green there and obviously green behind me. So that's taken care of but i wanted to have some green on the sofa and you guys see how big this thing on thing is this is like some good laying down on that so i'm happy with that i'll figure out how i want to you know style it it might go over there in that corner draped i'm not sure yet i just wanted to see what the green looked like in here all right you guys so i'm gonna go take this box probably downstairs because we still have the bulk um, for them to pick up and I'm satisfied with the items that were in it so I may as well let them go ahead and take it so I'll be back you guys all right fam I am waiting for V and we're gonna head out and do her errands and then do mine I'll try and get a little bit of footage when we get out there 
for you guys because I know sometimes it's kind of fun to see us getting out the house and not always just vlog in the house. Although I like seeing vlogs in the house because I'm nosy. <laughs> and plus I just feel like I'm there with you if I'm watching you. So, all right, y'all. I'll see you, um, I guess when I get in the car with thee. 1942 and it was 118 degrees. This exceeded what it even was in 1942. That's why we keep getting these warnings of excessive heat because Vegas. All right, fam, I made it to Target. V just dropped me off so she could run over and print something at the library. Yeah, what in the world would you use this for? That's very interesting. Look like some stuff they don't put together to try to sell people. Let me see. Um, I see a lot of people find some cool things in the dollar the dollar area. I don't usually find anything that I feel like was worth nothing, but it's always worth a try to look and see. These little baskets are cute, but I don't have a need for them. Um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. $20 sale. That's not enough savings for that. I got to pick up an item. Um, but I want to run to the, oh, $7.99 for the, do they have Coke products? I don't want Coke. I need Pepsi. I do need a Dr. Do I need a Dr. Pepper? I can't remember what they have. I'm going to see if the Pepsi's on sale too. And see, but, um, let's see. Anybody in? Yeah, there's somebody over there. Uh. Um, order pick up. Oh, this car. Hold on. All right, y'all. That was Ty checking up on his mama. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I'm over this side because this is not what I came here for. But you know, you always gotta take a look and stuff. That's how you get in trouble, though. Um. Why am I over here? I really don't need anything over here. Is that a spoon rest? Yeah. I do like these little like salt things, salt and pepper little things that you put a little a little really a pinch that's all you can get in it so that's about it those are cute what I want is to see if I can find um, something to put on my counter I have something right there but I want something that would be heat resistant that you know when you cook and you want to be able to take something off of the stove and set it on the counter I want to get something that can withstand the heat of a pot that won't burn that I could set that on and uh, I haven't been able to find any of those I mean I've seen some things but it doesn't say that you know it's heat resistant and stuff like that these are so cute. What are these? Dining bowls to put little... I don't know what you're going to put in here. But these are cute. <laughs> I don't know what you put in here. Ketchup. Like condiments, I guess, like that. That's cute. Dip. Like if you're eating cucumber, you can put dip and stuff in there. Why do I want to buy it? And I know damn well I don't need it. I know I don't need that. I will get some of these, though, because these always come in handy. These little room essential ones. Ty loves these, so I think I'll grab some. I know he likes that. I was supposed to go to Smith's, but maybe I won't have to go to Smith's if I find all that I need at Target. So I don't need any... I don't think I need any meat. Um...
I'm going to get myself a couple of these. I stopped eating these, but I really, really like these. Good morning, Rose fam. Happy Friday. It's finally Friday. I'm sorry. I know that I left you guys in Target. I did not continue to vlog after. You know how you get in the store? I got so overwhelmed in Target because I've been online, but I didn't go into the store. And Target Circle Week, everywhere I looked was 30% off, 30% off. And you know when you see a sale like that, you start thinking of all the stuff that you really need, want, but you should get it now because it's, you know, it's 30% off. So, anyway, I got some things. I didn't go crazy, though. Um, but the Castle Luna set that I bought. A week ago is now 30% off however they won't just let you bring the receipt in because I have it on um, what is it your circle rewards app they can see it they can see the price but in order to they would let you return and repurchase and it was like $60 difference but y'all I had already sanitized and uh, did everything with the blanket and the pillows and those are just intimate things where I don't want to take them back out in the street have to re-clean them um sanitize them and then iron that linen blanket again because it'd be all you know so I touched my husband he's like babe I don't think it's worth it and I'm like you know what I don't feel like doing all that I don't feel like taking what's been in our house and sanitizing and clean and bringing it back out to exchange it maybe I should have because $60 is I think it's a lot of money but it wasn't worth the hassle anyway I did not come back on I got a few things from Amazon I have packages coming for some reason Amazon is so delayed I have things coming from Walmart y'all I just I have to I have to slow down now all these sale things right now going on is really getting you girl it, I'm they reeling me in with these sales is there ever a time that I vlog that you guys don't hear my phone like literally so they reeling me in with all of these sales and things like that so anyway let me show you a couple things that I got from Target from Amazon again there's some things still coming in there's one couple things I can't show you because it's for the coffee table and I can't show you the coffee table y'all really want to show you but I really want it to be a two-piece thing I don't want to show you half and half um, but it should be coming next week so I can show you it both together because I want you to get the full picture of it but let me show you a couple things that I got I think so I did tell you about the blankets and I did say I wanted to put the green blanket in the family room for the sectional and then I was getting like a taupey beigey type blanket that I wanted for the bedroom but you know what I went ahead and stuck with the green for the bedroom and put that other one on the uh, couch because when I tell you that is my new 
cuddle blanket. It is huge. It is a 60 by 80. Literally, everybody can sit on the couch and cuddle under that. And when you with the air on and that fan over top of you, laying down watching TV, it's everything. So let me show you the bedroom. I, I'm sorry, y'all always forget to open it. So um, y'all see it's early. It's only 645 in the morning. But um, I decided to go ahead and keep that right there. So love the way that looks. Again, I'm fighting myself not to get a rug and just to enjoy the openness of the floor right now. But there's my sweet baby. But anyway, that is how everything is looking in the bedroom. Um, let me show you. I got these cute little cement boxes, just a little bit of decor um, for the shelf. So that those are the cute little cement boxes. They open up containers not really boxes but they both open up so i thought that was really cute that may not be its final resting place but for now i really like it okay this is what i decided to keep on this couch you guys this blanket is life i need to cut now that it's here, I need to cut these tags off. Do y'all cut your tags off? Like this irritates me seeing that. So I'm going to cut that off. But yeah, that's where that is staying on this couch. I absolutely love it. Um, The one thing that I did pick up from Target is one of these for my coffee table. I love that. Um, I had seen it a while and I wasn't planning to pick it up, but when I got the coffee table, I thought, oh, that's going to be absolutely perfect for the coffee table. All right now, let me show you. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get these curtains. Let me open up this second floor really quick. Hold on. It's not a game. It's a red Okay, that's the reason why I want to, I can't wait till next year to get these blinds so I can just hit a button <clears throat> and they all open at once. <clears throat> One of the other things I think I told you guys is I ordered another desk chair for Ty for his desk out here, which is going to be super comfortable for him for school. He's going to be starting his junior year, you guys, like... Our baby is, <laughs> youngest baby is 16 and going to be a junior and he closed his year out again on honor. So we are super proud, but I took a chance with, um, I took a chance with this rug and y'all, I absolutely love it so much. Let me see. It's hot up here. Okay. So let me turn you guys around. So here is the rug that I got for this space. It looks so good. I love it, love it, love it. And I also ordered a tree um, for that corner. So that should be here on Saturday. It's not an olive tree, it's just a tree. Um, so it's, uh, I think it's a eucalyptus. Like a tall, like not too much going on tree. So that'll be in that corner. And there's that. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I'm kind of don't need anything for my queen room. I just got some bowl filler for this bowl that I had from Home Goods for a while. I had been saying I was going to get some you know, potpourri or something for it. But I ended up finding these roses and things like that as a gold filler at Target for like 10 bucks. Y'all see, it's still a heat advisory. It's crazy. That's another thing, y'all. Running in and out of these stores and stuff, even though you're going in air conditioning, it's just that hot that it changes. It's so hot, it changes your whole mood, like for real. Your whole mood is altered. Um, so, trying to think what else. I ordered some pillow covers for hubby, and I did not like them. 
did not look like the website so I sent well I processed a return so I'll be sending those back um let me see I want to say that's all that I I want to say that's all that I got so far for deliveries I think um, I got a small coffee table book I didn't want anything to overwhelm it so it's super small but you'll get to see that it's no big deal you'll get to see that kind of place on the table I'm not sure that that is the final look for the table but for right now I'm satisfied with it you know we always change those things out if we see something that we like um what else what else um I think that's all that I actually got that I need to show you guys um I did get another picture I thought I wanted for back there I love the peaches but I saw a picture in fact, it's a little more like subtle. It does have fruit. I do love the fruit. Like this pear, if I can find a picture subtle like that um, with that kind of coloring. I don't mind the orange, but I saw, I saw another one. But y'all, I didn't even realize how jacked up the picture was. I just grabbed it. Let me show you guys. Hold on. So I was going to do a little bit of switch, a little bit of switching up and I wanted to put this picture over the sink area and then move the, let me show you guys, the kitchen sign over the uh, stove. I was going to put that there and put this picture and put this picture here over the sink which I really like and I think that that would be really pretty over in that area but y'all look at the picture I don't even this look at that and then look at all the all the speckles of whatever they were trying to do in there so like this was so poorly done and for $32 um no ma'am this would forever I think I could get around the speckles um, but this would forever bother me and then you know with these target pictures I don't think there's really a way for you to take the back off without like destroying it and like I don't want to do it because if I need to then return it I can't you know what I'm saying so I don't want to be the one to have to do that Otherwise, I would have kept it and just really put it over there, which I think would be really nice. Kind of change it up and put the... But then I also like the fact that the pear picture is by this one. So, I'm just going to return this. It just wasn't meant to be. I'll get my $32 back and call it a day. Anyway, you guys, I'm probably going to sit down and edit another video. I want to try to be a little bit more consistent um, with editing. I do film. It's just getting it edited and up. Um, so I want to try to do that. I know that's what we all say. I want to be more consistent, but I really do um, with editing. Um, I'm filming. I think I still have two videos. Sometimes I'll combine what I have instead of it being 30 minutes, I'll make it an hour because a lot of my Rose fam enjoy the longer videos. Um, uh, so I think, I think that's it, you guys. This weekend is, I think tomorrow, I got to go to Costco, pick up my medication. So I'm going to just return what I got to return tomorrow. I won't bother to go out in the heat because I can pick my medicine up tomorrow and just be out one time. So um, I took out some chicken wings from Target and I want to make some buffalo wings today. But I got to like bake them real, real, real good. I don't like mushy like I want to bake them damn near, like dry them out, <laughs> then 
then put the buffalo sauce on there and bake them again. So I think that's what we're going to have for dinner. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. I will come on if I have anything else exciting. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright fam, so I told you in a previous video that I ordered a tree for the loft. So that's what I'm putting together here. I just went with a simple eucalyptus tree. I didn't want another olive tree or something that had like too, too many branches. I thought this one, or leaves, I thought this one actually had a little less. The picture looked a little bit more sparse than the actual tree. But anyway, I still love it. I love the look of a, a eucalyptus leaf. So I am up in the loft and I'm just going to get that put together and then I will show you guys what it looks like after. <music> 